Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin. Our reporting capabilities just got more powerful with a 10x improvement in customization. We're excited to introduce custom report pages, which allow you to personalize reports in Coifin by adding your own branded content, charts, commentary, and more. These custom pages help you tell your firm's story, explain your investment approach, and add context or commentary to your proposals. Each layout comes with multiple configuration options so you can control how content is structured and displayed. Today, I'm gonna to walk through these new custom pages and provide an example of how to use each variety. The custom pages can be applied to any report that you're building. So whether you're accessing that from the model portfolios window here, you have the create report button, you'll be able to open up this window. Otherwise, you can do this from the client report model as well. If I wanna look at the Chapman household, for example, hover over this context menu and create a report directly from there. Alternatively, if you're inside a model portfolio or a client portfolio, you have the create report button present at the top of the screen as well. So I'm gonna open up the create report modal and we're gonna get started from scratch so I can show you how to use each of these custom pages. So on this page, you can select your primary portfolio. You can change the naming convention in the report. You can pick a benchmark as well. Not super important for this demonstration, but we'll go ahead and pick those anyway. On this page, you can change the report title, add the client name, change the prepared by as well as the dates. And you can also add a logo as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a logo for my fictitious advisory fund, Oak Tree. Now in previous videos, we have walked through all the different exhibits that you have available to you in these reporting exhibits that walk over the exposures, the performance, etc. Today's focus is just gonna be on the custom pages. So at the top of the left-hand side, you have this add custom page button now. When you select this, it's gonna open up all the different categories of custom pages. And you can see here that we have editorial, team pages, macro graphs, and feature cards. And each one of these categories has a bunch of different configurations. So what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna walk through each of these and show you how to set one up and hopefully give you some inspiration as to how you can utilize these for your team. First up, editorial. So this is going to allow you to add formatted text and images, and you can use these pages to highlight things like your investment philosophy, market outlook, or your firm overview. We have a few options to choose from. I'm going to pick this one in the bottom left, which is text on the left-hand side. The previews for each of these cards will give you some indication as to what it will look like when you jump in. This one, for example, has one big image with some text at the bottom. I might actually go ahead and just create one like this. So we'll pick the full width image with text. When you click on that, it's going to give you a preview of the structure of the page. So we can see we have a big image taking up most of the screen. We have a subtitle and a body of text there as well. And if I want to present this slide near the top of the presentation, I can just drag it on the left-hand side and pull it up close to the cover page. So to edit this, I'm just gonna press edit page and this will open up the window there. So you can see that I have the ability to add an image. I'm gonna do that first. What I've added here is a, an asset class returns quilt and I'm gonna change the image so that it fits instead of fills. For the title, I'm gonna call this one the annual asset class returns and give the range. For the subtitle, I'm gonna call it diversification in action. And what I wanna do here is explain to the client that they should be diversified and give them some context around that. So when I'm happy with this, I can save changes and we'll get to see the preview of what that looks like. Now in this image space, you can add images of your firm. You can add branded graphics. In this instance, I chose to just use this quilt, but any image you can fit into that image slot will be appropriate. So that's one custom page. Now let's tackle another one. I'm gonna to head to team pages here, and this is gonna allow me to introduce our team with headshots, titles, designation, and bios. I'm gonna pick the option that has bios, and you'll see this is a preview of what the page looks like. An interesting thing to note at this point that you can see that everything's blue. If you have a hex or a brand color code that you want to add, so for example, our logo is green, I might want to change this to green, maybe a darker green there. This coloring will now be reflected across all of your exhibits. So you can see that with the team bios. You can also see this on the cover page as well. If I go back to the cover page, you can see that it's now reflected. If I change the style of that, it's also gonna be reflected. So let's go back to the bios and I'm gonna pull this up to the top of the page and we're gonna hit edit page. And what we're doing here is introducing the primary points of contact in the advisory team. So I want the page title to say, meet our advisory team, or perhaps I should say meet your advisory team. And what I'm now gonna do is fill in the details of my hypothetical advisors. So we've got Edward Morgan here. He has a bunch of designations. He is our senior partner. And here's a bit of a blurb about how much experience he has and what his passions are. 
So if I'm happy with that, I'm also going to add an image as well. So there's Edward. And when I save this change, I can see how that looks in the page if I want to make any different changes. So I'm now going to go ahead and populate these other two team members as well. And like magic, we now have a slide that shows off our team members. So we've got the cover page here. We've got welcome, me, our team. We've got this context on the asset returns. So what else can we do? Let's go back to custom pages. And we're going to go down to the micrographs. So here you have the ability to directly insert Coifin charts into your presentation with space to add your own commentary. So for this one, I'm going to take the full width graph with some text at the bottom. You can also just make it a full page graph and you also have two graphs there as well. So let's open this up. Again, you'll see the structure of the page. And now let's go into the edit modal. And what we want to show here is we want to show the Fed fund rate over time to maybe explain why the cost of borrowing has went up and what that means for investors and how they should kind of distribute their wealth. So let's open up the graph type. You'll see we have a bunch of different options here for indices and growth factors, some fixed income and interest rates. You've got inflation and some labor and housing data down there as well. I'm going to go up and select the US Fed's funds rate. And we'll take that over a 20 year period. And then we'll give this page a title, US Fed fund rate, 20 year trend. We'll give it a subtitle as well. And then we'll also add a body of text. So now let's see what that looks like on the page. I'm pretty happy with that. And lastly, we have another section called feature cards. And these are visual layouts with a lot of flexibility that allow you to highlight things like your values, the services you provide, provide more context on your investment process between a blend of text, images, and icons. So I'm going to pick this five feature cards with introductory text. You can see that we have six big feature cards. You can see that we've got rectangular shapes. And then we've also got one with three feature cards and an image. So I'm going to pick this one and you'll see that we have some space for an intro text. And what I'm going to do is populate these cards with the services that we provide. So let's open up the edit page. Page title for this one will be our services tailored to your needs. We'll go ahead and add some context on the introduction card here. So a comprehensive approach to wealth management, and we'll provide a little bit of spiel about kind of what we do in the services we offer. So that's the introduction. If I save that, you'll see that reflected here. Now I want to populate each of these cards. So let's go back to the edit modal. Let's go to card one. So the first service that we provide is going to be investment management. And we can provide a little bit of copy there. You get a little preview here. And one of the nice things about this page is you can add icons to these cards. So for investment management, we might want to show a cash icon here. Now the next card, we are going to talk about retirement planning. That is another service that we offer. So we'll call it retirement planning. We'll add a bit of spiel there. And then we can choose an appropriate icon, which in this case might be a little piece of paper with a pen next to it. And fast forwarding through all that, when you're happy with each of your cards, you can press save changes to preview how they look. And I'm pretty happy with this. We've got an intro, we've got a subtitle and some context. We've got a list of all the services that we provide. I can bring that up to the top and you can already see that we can personalize this report to our needs. So we've got the cover, we've got the meet the team, we've got our services here. You could also add a bunch of other feature cards. You've got some macro graphs and then you've got some custom images with some context. And you're really not limited to the amount of custom pages that you can add to this report. You can pepper the report with a couple. You can get really deep into explaining the process and providing a lot of context with multiple pages at the beginning. And to do so, all you have to do is open up the custom reports page and add it to the report. One important thing to note here is that if you want to leverage your time and you only want to build this kind of report template once, maybe distribute it to a few different clients or share it amongst the team, an important thing to do is save the report as a template. So in the top right hand side here, we have save as a template. I'm going to call this one initial proposal. So imagine this is something we send out to prospective or somewhat new clients, we can save this as a template, which means that when I come back into my reports tool, I have this ready to go. All I have to do in this case is open up the create report window, you can see that we have initial proposal, we can open that up, skip through the stages, you can see it's already populated with our logo. And we have all of those custom pages ready to go. Something like the advisory team is probably a slide that you want to reuse over and over again. So it's handy in that respect. And if you want to share these templates across your team, simply open up the create report window, go down to the template that you want to share. And this icon here, you open it up and it will allow you to add the, the Coifin email of your team member. Alternatively, you can also add your entire team if you have created one inside of Coifin. So that just about does it for today. We're really excited about this upgrade to reports and we hope you are too. As always, you can drop a comment in the comment section below. Our help desk is help at coifin.com. We are at Coifin Charts across all of our socials. Until next time, thank you.